in the question one uh, ratio of power has been given and they asked the ratio of the wavelength now as we know that pa by pb equals to sigma aa pa ki power 4 by sigma a b pb ki power 4 or it is equal to r simply ra by rb ka whole square and ta by tb to the power 4 as we know that uh, according to wing's displacement law lambda into t means product of lambda that is the uh, wavelength corresponding to the maximum spectral radiancy into t equals to constant here must be tb therefore pa by pb equals to ra by rb whole square lambda b upon lambda a to the power 4 now in the question radius ratio of the radii and ratio of the power are given therefore it will be equal to 400 square lambda b upon lambda a to the power 4 equals to 10 to the power 4 from here we get lambda a by lambda b equals to 2 so the answer is 2 in the question number 2 let us assume that initial amount of fuel amount of fuel is equal to n naught and after nt year uh, it becomes n therefore according to the equation which is given in the question uh, it is given that dn by dt equals to 12.5 percent that means 12.5 100 dn naught by dt it can be written because uh, as we know that big power is proportional to dn by dt because power is the multiplication of energy released in one equation and dn by dt therefore we can say that power is proportional to dn by dt now again dn by dt equals to minus lambda n therefore the ratio of dn by dt and dn naught by dt will be same as the ratio of n and n naught that means n upon n naught equals to 1 by 8 or 1 by 2 to the power 3 therefore the required time is 3 half life therefore answer is 3 t in this question condition of maxima has been asked uh, at this point we can say the optical part difference between these two way will be given by uh, 4 by 3 root over x square plus d square minus x square plus d square here this is the distance t uh, which is shown in the 2d which is given in the question from here we can say that delta x equals to root x square plus d square into 1 minus 4 by 3 and for maxima it must be equal to say m lambda therefore we can say root x square plus d square upon 3 must be equal to m lambda and from here we can say that x square equals to 3 square m square lambda square minus d square on comparing this equation with the given equation in the question we can say that value of p is 3 therefore answer is 3